Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 Manchester City career mode. This is Season 1, Episode 3. In today's episode, we have the January transfer window. We signed some new players. We signed Aspilicueta from Chelsea for £28 million. Arguably one of the best left-backs in the Premier League. Premier League proven. He is going to be replacing Clichy and uh, Kolarov as my left-back. In today's episode, we have two matches, the first of which is against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool at home at the Etihad. Now, guys, I can't stress this enough. If you want to see more Man City career mode on the channel, leave a like and a comment. It's the best way for me to gauge if you want to see more of this particular career mode, maybe more Ultimate Team, maybe more Real Madrid or Man United. Let me know in the comments. Now, I have made the decision to sell Joe Hart. In the last episode, I brought him back on loan simply because he was better than Bravo, because Bravo was going down in stats because he's 33 years of age, and we're trying to sell him on. But, guys, you know how hard it is to sell players in FIFA 17, especially if you've got a lot of dead wood you want to move out. Uh, Akin Thief signed for United, which is interesting. It hasn't it been like 10 years? There's some ridiculous stat where he hasn't kept a clean sh a sheet since that long. Now back on to the topic of Joe Hart. I made the decision to sell him because Ruli, the Argentine from Real Sociedad we had out on loan there, has come back and he's the same rating as Joe Hart and about 4 or 5 years younger. So I'm going to be playing Ruli instead of him. It's going to be interesting to see if that happens in real life. Will Ruli come back on loan? because he's a really good highly rated player in career mode um, he's got obviously better than uh, Bravo in career mode because he's going down in stats rapidly so there were five targets I could go for after I sold Fernando he was going down in stats he was getting a little bit older I, I the thing is right I, I only had enough money for either Hector Bellerin or, or Cesar Aspilicueta and I went with Aspilicueta because out of Clichy playing at left back, and what? Uh, who's playing at my right back now? John Stones, yeah. Out of the two, uh, Clichy has been playing the worst out of it. John Stones has actually been scoring goals from his right back position. Ideally, I would like Culliver Hull or Hector Bellerin, but we're going to be able to get Cesar Aspilicueta for £28.5 million, uh, million pounds, 84 overall, Premier League proven. We managed to offer that £28.5 million pounds at the start of the season. He can play as the left back, right back and centre back. And because we got all the way to the contract negotiations, we can jump straight back into it. We don't have to offer that money again. Because it was an unsuccessful negotiation, it still stays there, which is really quite cool because we still got that 28.5, which probably would have cost us a lot more if we just straight out went for a bit. I just went into my unsuccessful notifications, submitted a new contract, and we're laughing. Anita, the former Newcastle man, has signed for Liverpool. Oblak has joined Arsenal now. Courtois has left Chelsea to join Juventus. But Atletico spend their money really well and buy Leno. Now we get a £21 million offer from L Nolito here, which is huge. 30 years of age, 82 overall. He's worth £17 million. We're going to be able to make a lot of money back off him because he was on the transfer list. I was umming and ahhing because we've only got two hours left in the window. Uh, we do have enough money to sign Hector Bellerin now, but... I don't think the papers are going to go through. Someone at the fax machine uh, down in Arsenal is just absolutely wailing on it, destroying it left, right, and centre. But there's no way we're going to get a decent offer like that next season for him if we do do season two of the Man City career mode. So we will be moving on Nolito, even though we are going to be a little bit weak in that left wing position. However, we've got an abundance of youth players that we can bring back if we need to. So I've quickly submitted the offer to Hector Bellerin, but it doesn't look likely we're going to be able to sell him. I think Bakary Sanya is joining Tottenham Hotspur. Kalishi still hasn't had uh, found a club, and, and neither has Kolarov, I think. So here we are. Here are Joe Hart's stats. 29 years of age, 65 overall. I wanted to sell both Bravo and him for £20 million. Pretty decent. Here is Ruli's stats. 24 years of age. He's worth £30 million. Look at his stats. They're not as tall as Joe Hart, but he's still taller than Bravo, who's only 6 foot, which is insane. Check out his stats going down here now. And uh, he's... 10 years younger, essentially, roughly. So that's why we're going to be playing with Ruli. So let's get stuck into the first match of today's episode against Jurgen Klopp's uh, Liverpool.
Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the first match of today's episode at the Etihad. We're facing Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. So we're currently first in the Premier League, followed by Arsenal, Man United, Everton are in fourth, Southampton are in fifth, and Middlesbrough are in sixth. Those Everton, Southampton, and Middlesbrough could potentially get Champions League football if they keep their good run of form, form up. Spurs are in eighth, Chelsea are in 13th, Liverpool are in 14th. Hull, Sunderland, and Stoke City are in the relegation zone. Let me know in the comments who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer. Messi with 16 and Kevin De Bruyne with 16 are currently drawing at the moment. Coutinho, uh, yeah, we've got to watch out for him in this match against Liverpool. He scored 15 goals this season. Danny Welbeck, 12 in fourth. Cazola, 9 goals sitting in fifth. So we're going to be playing the 4-3-3 or the 4-3-2-1 narrow, whichever you want to prefer. I prefer playing my wingers as inside forwards instead of wingers because I feel like in FIFA they get too exposed. I've mentioned this quite a lot. We've got Aguero, Sanchez, and Messi leading the, the line. Mass, M-A-S. Um, well, what's another one? M-S-A. <laughs> right, Kevin De Bruyne at the cam creating the plays. We've got Gundogan tracking back and defending. And we've got David Silva as well pushing forward. Forward. John Stones playing as my right back, been playing very, very well. Going to be giving him game time. He's gone up a plus two this season. I would have loved to bring in Hector Bellerin and maybe Culver Hull, but we just couldn't get the funds for it. Otamendi Company in the two key center back roles, and we have Aspel Equator as left back. We could play him as right back because he can play there and center back potentially, but Aspel Equator, a very, very good player. We've got Rulli in goal. This is like the third goalkeeper we've had in this series. It's quite funny. 24 years of age, 62 overall, 84. He's, uh, yeah, 84 overall, 6'2", 24 years of age. He's Argentinian as well. We've got a lot of Argentines in this squad. I prefer him over Joe Hart because he's a little bit younger as well. Got huge potential. And, yeah, he's, he's the same rating. I would like to ship off Bravo, but uh, we didn't get any offers for him. Boney, Sterling, Sane, Yaya, Navas, Clichy, and Bravo on the bench. We have, who we got in the reserves? Some youth players, really, Garcia and Humphreys. Bakary Sanya, the traitor, is joining Tottenham Hotspur once his contract expires. I wanted to sell him ideally, but I wasn't going to offer him a new one, so... He's just joined a free transfer to Tottenham. So Sanchez is eyeing off, um, uh, what's his name? Genie Wijnaldum, that's it. Um, we're going to be playing in our blue kit. They can play as the red. It is, okay, at the edge you had legendary four-minute halves. Overcast Stuart Atwell is um, refereeing. So let's get stuck into Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool here today. Hey guys, welcome to the Etihad. Welcome to match day. Okay, they're playing Nathaniel Klein, Loris Curious, Jordan Henderson from what we can see. Messi, the man, the myth, the legend. Arguably the best player in the world. Ready to go. So kickoff will be underway from us. So Liverpool are playing a 4-3-3. Daniel Sturridge leading the line. Rafinha on the right-hand side there. I'm pretty sure that's Thiago uh, Alcantara. Is it his brother or is it his cousin? I can't quite remember off the top of my head. If that's the Rafinha from Barcelona, the Brazilian, I can't remember if it's his cousin. It could even be his brother. Um, but regardless, yeah, Coutinho on the left. Henderson, Lucas Lever, Jenny Wijnaldum, Nathaniel Klein's right back. Mon, uh, Moreno is left back. Maltip and Lovren, and they've got Loris Curious in goal. So the home side has the kickoff. Let's get things started with Alexis Sanchez. Okay, looks like Mal Maltip's pushed back. David Silva. Put it at the back post to someone. Oh, it's gone straight to the hands of Loris Curious. Just need to put a little bit more on it. It has worked. I've seen if you bomb it at the back post. Oh, shit. Aguero with the short free kick. Finds Messi. David Silva's back on it. Oh, he's getting closed down here by Moreno. The two Spaniards. Okay. He somehow found Messi here with a great pass. Aguero with the scoop turn. Messi picks up the crumbs. And Loris Curious. Oh, we're going to leave it for the corner kick. I don't believe that. How has Messi got onto that? Oh, he's picked it up. It's... Okay, right. It's gone... It's hit Nathaniel Klein in the thigh. He could have been another potential player I could have bought as my right back. So we've got a corner kick here. I'm just going to pop it into the box. Kevin De Bruyne tries to find someone. It finds David Silva. His shot gets blocked. Shit, we need to get rid of this. Aspilicueta with a decent tackle. 
He needs to hunt Coutinho and close it down. Aguero breaking away from Joel Matip if he can beat him, but he's got no one near him. He's going to go all the way. Sanchez! Alexis Sanchez makes it 1-0 against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. He was close to signing for Liverpool when they sold Luis Suarez, but then he went to Arsenal. But now he's at Man City. What a strike from the Chilean. What a goal. I'm not entirely sure what goal that was of the season. Let's have a look. But he started off the scoring here. A very, very nice strike. He scores his third goal of the season. It's really been the De Bruyne and Messi show, if I do say so myself. Nathaniel Klein breaking away. Companies answered the call. And Ruley nearly didn't get to that. He had to dive back into his goal. What the hell? Right, we've got a corner kick here. I'm going to move De Bruyne up to counter. If we can get a favorable ball out, we can really expose Liverpool here. Ruley. Okay, so De Bruyne is up there. Right, everyone, go, 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 go. Let's go for this now. Come on, Messi. Make a run there. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Messi's breaking away from the counter-attack. Uh, he's going to... Yeah, Joel Matip absolutely had him in his pocket there. Unfortunately, the counter-attack fizzled out. See? Sanchez... Oh, he's going to claim his second. No, it's gone to Loris Carrius. So that was a great through ball to Sanchez, but uh, he couldn't quite get onto the end of it. Okay, guys, it's half time at the Etihad. A couple of them are a little bit exhausted, my players, so I might have to make some substitutions. I might bring on Leroy Sane now for Messi. I might even bring on Yaya for Gundogan. And I'll bring on B uh, Wilfred for Aguero. I could bring on Sterling to mix things up. Let him face his former side. I'm going to go with that, actually. I'm going to play Sterling just a bit later. I played uh, Wilfred in the last match. So Yaya is going to be making his appearance. Uh, Messi and Gundogan come off. Leroy Sane comes off. I love Leroy Sane in this game. He's so, so good. He's got Aguero and De Bruyne in the box. He's just going to have to get past Nathaniel Klein. Oh, my God. Sanchez. Still on the ball here. Finds Aspilicueta. David Silva. If he scored that with his left, that would, he's got a cracker against Chelsea from outside the box. De Bruyne. Finds his Bundesliga counterpart. Come on. Matt Tip. Shit. Coutinho has been slipped through here. Oh, oh, my God. That is a huge foul. Also, Mendy's all over the place. Tripped over um, a friendly player there, but absolutely smashed. Coutinho. Fucking hell, company. It's gone short to Lalana. Yaya's come out here, but look how many players we've got to counter. Come on, Yaya. Puts it to Aguero. Put it back to Leroy Sane. Come on, Leroy. Leroy! Oh, he's hit Loris Karius straight on. That's good goalkeeping from the German. The two Germans link up. I maybe should have put it wide to Sanchez. I don't know. It's going to be a corner kick here. Let's bring up David Silva. And get him to swing it out. Oh, that was dog shit. That was absolutely woeful from the Spaniard. He is getting a little bit past it, but he should be doing a lot better than that. I don't know how the hell we've just won this. Sanchez! And it's De Bruyne. I have no idea how we just got that goal there. That is ridiculous. Kevin De Bruyne makes it 2-0, picking up the crumbs once more. Scores his 17th goal of the season. Look at this ball over the top. He just gets the boot to it. Sanchez couldn't do it, but he hits the roof of the net. He scored so many goals, picking up the crumbs. I think Messi hit the post once and he picked up the crumbs as well. Scores his 17th goal of the season. I love Kevin De Bruyne on FIFA 17. He is so, so good. The number 17 scores his 17th goal of the season, being in that attacking midfield position. Right, let's bring on Raheem Sterling now, our last substitute of the match. Try and kill things off. If we can score another one, we, can, we might be able to be 3-0 up against Liverpool. De Bruyne... Finds Raheem Sterling. He's in the box, Raheem. Hit it. Oh, my. I actually don't believe that. How has he scuffed up the shot? He's a right footer. Genie Wijnaldum's coming off now. And 
Okay, Cameron's coming on. I don't recognise that. Liverpool youngster. I'm assuming he is. Raheem Sterling messed up a huge opportunity from the throw-in. Leroy Sane is trying to find someone. Okay, we found Kevin De Bruyne somehow. Come on, Raheem. Oh, what the fuck? But Le oh, that is so fortunate that it's fallen to Alexis Sanchez. We're 3-0 up. My God. Raheem Sterling. I thought that went in. So he finds Raheem, hits the bar, and somehow Sanchez, with the finesse, puts it past Loris Karius. Holy shit. Top left as well. Top right. My bad. Oh, scores his second. Sanchez is on a hat trick. Sanchez, De Bruyne. De Bruyne has just found Raheem Sterling. Have they completely given up Liverpool? Scores against his former side. It's 4-0. I don't believe it. Raheem Sterling's going to dub the dab against Liverpool. His former side. We're 4-0 up. This is the biggest lead, the biggest victory of the season. They have crumbled in this match. The full-time whistle has blown, guys. We have claimed a 4-0 victory over Liverpool. That's huge. That is so huge. But we dominated them from the kickoff. Let's have a look at the stats here. <laughs> wow. Two shots, uh, two goals for Sanchez, one for Sterling, one for De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne picking up the man of the match with one assist. Aguero with the other. How did he pick up man of the match? Okay, so Sanchez and De Bruyne managed to draw somehow. How many passes did he complete? 15 out of 18. Okay, that's why then. I was just, like, curious to say, huh. Because Sanchez picked up two goals in a... Uh, oh, okay, he didn't pick up the assist. Picked up two goals, so... I don't know. Maybe two goals is worth more than a goal and an assist. Rooley made two saves. Loris Karius made eight. They played a three at the back formation towards the end. But, guys... Let's get stuck into the second match of today's episode. We're on flying form for this episode. Okay, guys, welcome to the last match of the Premier League. We're going away to Watford. We're going to Vicarage Road, and we're going to be lifting the Premier League title. We have won the Premier League. We're on 79 points. We have the Champions League final in the next episode against PSG Paris Saint-Germain. I feel like this is a pretty sort of low winning Premier League. Like, we don't have that much points. Like, if we win this match, we can have, well, we can, obviously, if we win, we get three points. So we, have a ma we can get 83 points in the end, which I think is sort of kind of low. But Arsenal are in second with 73. Man United are in third with 69. But Middlesbrough might get Champions League football this season, Everton or Southampton, which is nuts. Kevin De Bruyne is the top goal scorer with 20 goals, followed by Messi with 19, Coutinho with 18. So pat yourselves on the back uh, if you pick Kevin De Bruyne because, well, depending after this match, he has one ahead of Messi. Messi's going to have to score two to get ahead. Probably one to cement his lead. So let's have a look at the relegation battle. Stoke City got relegated. Sunderland, Burnley uh, in the relegation zone. West Ham 15th, Chelsea 13th, Liverpool 11th, Spurs 7th. Oh man, Pochettino will be fuming, the former Southampton manager. Alrighty, and Big Sam has put Crystal Palace in 8th. <laughs> so let's get stuck into Watford. We're going to be playing the same team as we did before, the 4-3-3 narrow. Aguero, Sanchez, Messi leading the line, De Bruyne at the cam, Gundogan, uh, David Silva, Stones at right back, Otamendi, Company, Aspilicueta, Ruli. Unfortunately, Bonnie's picked up an injury, so he's going to be out. Um, and Bakary Sanya's injured as well. Okay. Let's bring on Garcia then. And we'll just quickly rejig this a bit. Alright, perfect. Man, bloody Bravo's gone down to minus two. That's nuts. Okay. Let's face Watford at Vicarage Road. Let's play in our blue kit. They can play in the yellow. Britos is manning up. Okay, so we're playing a Vicarage, Vicarage Road. It's a clear day. Mark Clattenburg is managing. Let's get into Walter Mazzari's side. Okay, guys, welcome to the final match of the Premier League. We're going to be lifting the trophy here today down at Watford. 
regardless of the result. The two Spaniards getting the camera for some reason here. Why is it panning so close on David Silva and Aspilicueta? But Sanchez will be winning his first Premier League title. Aspilicueta adding another to his name. So let's get the kickoff underway. Aspilicueta finds De Bruyne. A nice couple of one-two passes here. It's really opened it up for Messi. He fires at Lopez. Oh, I probably should check who um, Watford are playing. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so they've got a Galo leading the line. They're playing a five at the back. They've got Holobus, Prodel, Lopez, one Matt. I'm assuming Britos is the cam, and they also have Piera, the former Juventus. Okay, so they're playing a 5-3-2. Five at the back formation. They're sitting a bit deep. Messi got a shot on target just then, and now they've got a goal clearing. Feeds it wide to Gundogan. Aspel is going to make the run. No one's coming up to him. We'll just bomb it into the box. Actually, just get it. Oh, Lopez has somehow gotten a hand to it. David Silva. Okay, Gundogan's at the edge of the area here. If they leave him, get too much space. He nearly got a shot on target there. The German from the, with Turkish ancestry hits it just over the top. It was dipping to start off with, but then it really, really scooped up towards the end, didn't it? Messi waiting for John Stones. He's been awesome this season. Puts it into Sanchez. How has he got a boot to that? How? Are we going to get a replay of that? Holy shit. Oh, no. This is Gundogan's shot. That was just skipping a bit wide. Yeah, they gave him way too much space. De Bruyne finds David Silva. Beats one. Hits it with his left straight at Lopez. Lopez. Um, we got a couple of shots on target. From the throw-in, Aguero finds John Stones, finds De Bruyne at the edge of the area. Just have a ping from there. They're really just sitting back. Watford, can't you see? <sighs> Our shots are getting on target, but they're just going straight to the goalkeeper's hands. We just can't get enough space. Aguero finds Gundogan. Messi. Lionel Messi! Straight to Lopez again. We're struggling to ba break down Watford here against at Vicarage Road. We are really struggling to break them down. They're going for the draw. Aguero finds Kevin De Bruyne breaking away. Kevin De Bruyne makes it 1-0. We've finally broken Watford here today. It was so hard. It's the 65th minute. I was struggling big time. So now, Kevin De Bruyne looks like he's going to be the top goal scorer of the Premier League. The former Chelsea man. 21 goals this season. If Messi wants to become the top goal scorer, he's got to score two in this match. Aguero finds Sanchez. He beats his man once. They're really sitting back here, Watford. Can't you see? Oh, somehow Messi's gotten onto this. David Silva at the edge of the area. And they've just got the three midfielders there. Oh, my God. How the hell have we just won the ball there? Messi! Straight to Lopez again. Right, it's just before the 75th. It's time for some more substitutions. I'm going to bring on Sterling for Aguero. I'm going to bring on Sane for David Silva. I want to try and let De Bruyne and Messi sort of go for it still. I'll bring on Yaya for Gundogan, I think. And we'll leave it like this. I still want to try and let uh, De Bruyne and Messi sort of battle it out for the top goal scorer. De Bruyne... Sees the run of Raheem Sterling. He's going to get outheaded by one Matt. Sanchez scores one of my favorite goals of the season thus far. 2 0 up against Watford, continuing on with winning ways. What a goal from the Chilean, the former Arsenal man, winning his first Premier League title. Lopez is furious. I th I'm pretty sure it's the Portuguese Lopez from Olympic Leon. Look over the top. One mass, okay, so it's pinging back and forth. Sanchez gets it down to his boot, hits it on his left. The number seven puts it into the top left. What a goal from Alexis Sanchez. Aspil Equator. Okay, we're really stretching the play now. Can Messi put his name on the score sheet? He gets denied by Lopez, as if. From the corner kick, De Bruyne. Finds Messi. Oh, Watson does a number on him there. Imagine if he picked up a... 
injury on the last day. Kevin De Bruyne gets the ball in. It's going to come back to De Bruyne, but no one's there. Otamendi with the cutback. Oh, I was going to see if the tank at the back was going to have a shot on. Shit. We've got a counter-attack here for Watford. Come on, John Stones. Cut this one out, my friend. Oh, only just. Okay, guys, the full-time whistle has blown, and we have officially won. I'm officially allowed to announce, announce and confirm that we have won the Premier League. Just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see Season 2 of the Man City career mode, or maybe we can move on to some others. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to do Barcelona next, but I'm going to be doing the same as last year. We'll start working through all the popular teams in Europe, testing out the squads, bringing new players, and just uh, really having a lot of fun. We've still got Liverpool, Arsenal, Spurs, Chelsea. Uh, in the La Liga, still got, obviously, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid in the Bundesliga. I would really like to do a Red Bull Leipzig career mode. They are doing so well. They are tearing up the Bundesliga right now. It, so that'd be really, really cool. Maybe even do like a financial takeover. I can't remember. I don't know the budget of them just yet. But like imagine if Red Bull just pulled all their money together and threw it all into the football club. We could sort of do like an alternative history or something like that. Yeah, but then you've still got Schalke. Uh, what else is there? Borussia Dortmund, Bayern Munich in Syria. AC Milan, Inter or Juventus. But Vincent Company will be lifting the trophy here today. We have won the Premier League. So, guys, if you haven't already hit that like button, left a comment, and subscribe. If you're new around here, would really much appreciate it. Also, check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. If you don't want any games, you can get some PSN and Xbox codes for a, a pretty decent price. So, company celebrating in front of the Man City faithful. We have won the Premier League, but now in the next episode, this is not the last episode of the series, guys. We have the Champions League final against PSG. Julian Draxler looks like he's going to sign for them in real life. But uh, yeah, let's end the festivities there. Yeah, Anthony Lopez. We absolutely dominated Watford. Holy shit. We're doing so well. The, I love this squad. Took me a little while to get used to, but we're absolutely flying with it now. Sanchez, De Bruyne picking up the goals. De Bruyne with the man of the match. Aguero with the assists. So we have the Champions League final in the next, and we'll probably recap the stats as well. But thanks for watching. My name has been Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! <laughs> that is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.